Welcome to my channel IBMI ES4 Net Classes. Today we will going to discuss how we can create user defined options based on commands we, we usually uh, use to type on command line. So let's start. First thing we have to do in this regard is we have to go to work with member pdms menu. So for that we will type command work member pdm. this thing then uh, we usually see that we took some options here like 14 for compilation or 15 for create module like 15 for creating the module for this member officially member so it will uh, if you take 15 and then f4 it will automatically show that create rpg module command now, so we can create our own user defined options here. So let's see how we can create the same. So for that first thing we have to uh, do is to come to work with members using PDM. That is work member PDM. Now uh, we'll take shift F4. So we can see that we have come to the work with user defined options menu here. Now we can see that uh, here are a few options defined like this for e str code ecmd command this command ab option is there for call command this option c option is here like just take uh, an example for c command you can directly call c uh, take option c here and then this command uh, op uh, this program will get called. Now take actual. Uh, it will print the output. Okay, so we can, we have seen that C option works here because it presents in that list. So whatever presents in this list, list should have put this file. And that option will work. So for same, uh, we can use CL for change current library here, and for display job log JL here, for run query RQ here, for submit job SJ, for school file SP, for work submit job WS. So these we can see that only these commands uh, exist here. I do not have the authority to create the command here because it's a public server so I'll show you I'll display the details of these commands like let's take a simple a simple example here for job log take 5 on this so we just typed uh, what, we'll, what, what we'll do here we can see that this is the option f6 create so when we take f6 so here it is showing that you do not have the authority to change this file but if you have authority you will take f6 then you will show these two options here first thing will be option in which you will have to type the option you can give anything which is not present in this list already if that was present in this list you will not able to give that option again because this uh, since we have taken JL, so you have not taken JL again. You have to type something else which is not present in this file. So uh, you will uh, write option here which is of maximum two lengths. Two lengths. Or you can take one length option as well. But maximum of two, minimum of one. So you take J or cap max JL. So then in the command option, you will have to type that command. Suppose we have to create a shortcut option for display job log so we have uh, written display job log command and jail then press enter you will be able to create that command then this command will get created and will be shown here in this list as well so whenever you will take that jail you will be able to see that job log so for the same option suppose for this c command so in options they have taken c and then in command they have written call and then take f4 and we will have to provide two parameters there one is for library and then again is uh, second is for par, uh, program name. So 
also and the third pa parameter option will be optional so they have written here call and o slash and n now and o and and n are the variable names which will be which which can be any one say you have written here and var1 and var2 or and lib1 and pgm1 anything you can take it because this, uh, this is just a variable name so you don't have to type the specific program name so if you type that specific program name and then you will take option c from any member on your source file work with member pdm menu then 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 call command will execute only that program that you have specified here so here we have taken option uh, option here we have taken uh, variables here so that variable uh, that value will be passed on command work in member pdms so whenever you will take option on that particular member then the that member name or whatever the library and gets passed pass from there and that that will be that command will get executed so this is a user defined option we can create and which is in general as well so we can take option c or any member and we can call our program as well so same thing for cc so for cc they have uh, op taken option cc command as change current lib and in parameter for cur lib they have taken variable as handle you can take and lib name and cur lib name and anything anything you can take here any variable you can take here so you can create your own options your own user defined options for which you feel that you have to write the same command multiple times or uh, every time then you can create your own user defined option for the same and use that option whenever you require so this is very uh, this is just a shortcut for you so work also for work member pdm as well you can create your command so you will have to take uh, same you will have to type option say work member pdm so work so for work member pdm you can take wm here and then you write work member pdm only and then you take enter then your command will be created so whenever you will take wm from here you will be able to access work member pdm right now this option is not present that list so this will not work so we'll have to type the whole command so you can see that we have to either we should type wm or work member video which is easy so we can create our own user defined options which are very beneficial for us so that we, it will save our time to type those uh, big commands so whatever there so this is all about today's video thank you and have a nice time